see the judge. I don't really know. They got me set at a five thousand dollar bond. I'm I'm still just at a loss for words, honestly, about this whole process. How they switching lanes with no signal turn into all of this, I don't even know. Um, but I'm still here. We are an explicit police abolition organization. So in, so in other words, we don't want to reform cops. We don't want to give them health care so they can stop killing and beating us. We don't believe that we want to reform them, right? We want them gone. So when we say we are police abolitionists, we're also making this point that we don't believe that we need cops in order to protect each other or our communities. We don't have to have these overpaid pigs being paid to kill us in our own communities. We can be, thank you <laughs> we can be responsible for ourselves. We can protect ourselves. We can take care of our own communities. Okay. And so part of the police abolition line for Philly Real Justice is that when we're at a, an event like a protest or a rally, we do not talk to cops. We don't collude with cops. We don't get permits. This is our um, this is our right. We don't have to get a permit in order to assemble, in order to protest. We don't follow any of their rules. This is our city. These are our streets, and we're going to take space whenever we want to. Yes. So we ask that everyone who's attending the event today that you follow that political line. Do not engage them at all. Are we cool with that? Yes. All right. yes. So we're here today at the Rizzo statue because obviously Rizzo was a racist, fascist pig. Yeah. Yeah. I remember being super, super young in the 90s and I was at the um, Super Fresh with my mom. And Rizzo died, I believe, in what, 91, 92? And I was standing in the grocery store line with my mom and the news came on and said, hey, you know, Rizzo died. And I didn't really know who Rizzo was. I kind of knew, but not really. But what I remember is that a black elder in line behind us, as soon as he heard the news that Rizzo died, his very first comment was, thank God. Thank God. So that tells us a lot about how the community felt back then and continues to feel about Rizzo. Rizzo was a, a brutal cop, a brutal police commissioner, a brutal mayor who targeted the African-American community, he targeted the Latino community. He targeted the LGBTQ community. He basically targeted any community that he did not feel aligned with his own personal values. And so a lot of people are asking, oh, why are you trying to take down the statue? Aren't there more important things that you need to be doing? And I think that's the wrong question, right? Yes. Because if we're thinking historically, if we're being critical thinkers, we know that these statues, that these monuments to racist white supremacists are attached to policy that impacts us today. Yes, yes. 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 There's a reason why the cops walk around with a bunch of military apparatus. There's a reason why somebody is 19 can become a pig in Philadelphia and make $40,000 a year. Yes, they can. Yes, they can. There's yes, they a reason why our schools are so underfunded, but these cops' paychecks are Every week. Yes. yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, you can trace is. all of these yes. discriminatory practices yes. involving police, of course, to slavery, but more recently, we can trace them to Rizzo. Yes. He effectively defunded the public school system because he wanted to put his cops in a position of affluence. You also hear a lot of talk from some members of the South Philadelphia community about how this call to bring down the statue is what they're calling discrimination against Italians. Real talk, most black people don't care if white people are Italian, Irish, German, whatever, right? We're not out here worrying about your ethnicity. We're out here trying to fight white supremacy. Yes, yes. We're out here trying to fight white supremacy. And when you're standing, up for white supremacist images like Rizzo, that has nothing to do with your Italianness. It has nothing to do with your Irishness. That's it right. has to do with the fact that you want to get the privileges of white supremacy. That's right, that's right. Rizzo down. So we're not going to let them do the 
today is to try to act like we're out here defaming Italians. I think that was their word, right? So we're going to be out here standing up against white supremacy, standing up to bring this Rizzo statue down. Yes, Rizzo down! And the last thing I want to say before we get to our amazing speakers is that our platform for real justice to bring this Rizzo statue down is not just about the statue, right? It's attached to other liberation goals, yes. such as ending stop and frisk. Yes, yes. Such as ending the Mummers Parade, which is another source. Yes, yes. Which is another source of money being raped from our communities. We're also bringing attention to the murder of Joyce Kwawie, yes. a black woman who was beaten to death by one temple cop and one former temple cop. She was beaten to death for not submitting to these cops. And no one is talking about it really in our city. It's a problem when a black woman in our community can be beaten to death and nobody gives a damn. Yes, man. yes. That's bad, man. And the murder of Joyce Kwawie speaks to a larger problem of the fact that despite the cops being murderous pigs on the daily, right? Yes. They also have a huge amount of them who are involved in domestic violence on a daily basis. Yes, day. yes, yes. And the fight against white supremacy also includes the fight against misogyny. Right? Yes, yes. It includes a fight against yes. transphobia. Yes. yes, yes. It includes a fight against heterosexism. Yes. So we're out here to tell you right now that if you want to stand up for racial issues, you also need to be intersectional and stand up for the women, right? Yes! Stand yes. up for our trans comrades. Yes! Stand up against homophobia as well. Yes! Because if you're not, you're not a revolutionary. That's right, that's right. That's right, for y'all too. Woo, so yeah. <laughs> Different mentality. It seems hard. It seems it seems challenging. I don't say hard because the only thing hard is the concrete that we walk on. Everything else is a challenge. Um, um, so, so, so I'm ready. I'm ready for this challenge. And I was built for this.